In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on February 11, 2023 and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college basketball games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best bet single picks, best bet parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Baylor vs. TCU. It's Saturday, which means we've got another massive college basketball slate to look forward to, and one of the best games will take place here in the Big 12 as the TCU Horned Frogs get ready to host the Baylor Bears. Both of these teams are ranked inside the top 20 nationally and are having very good seasons, so it should be a good one. Baylor is 6-2-1 against the spread in their last nine games and 35-17-3 against the spread in their last 55 road games. The under is 4-1 in Baylor's last five games following a win. TCU is 8-1-1 to one to one against the spread in their last 10 home games and 6-1 to one against the spread in their last seven games following an against the spread loss. The over is 4-1 to one in TCU's last five Saturday games. The favorite is 11-3-1 to to one against the spread in these two teams' last 15 head-to-head -head meetings. The Bears enter this contest as the favorites, which makes sense. They have won eight of their last nine games and have jumped into a second-place tie in the Big 12 Conference standings, one game behind Texas. With upcoming games against Kansas State, Kansas, Texas, and Iowa State, this team simply must win games like this. They likely will not run the table to close out the season, so these are the types of games that are must-wins. TCU is a very strong defensive team but has not been the same since getting into conference play. On the other side, Baylor is simply getting better. This is a sensational team right now, and they will not only win and cover the spread but look for them to dominate. TCU has struggled since Miles JR went down with an injury and they have lost three of their last four games. Baylor has won four of their last five games and is playing very good basketball right now. As long as Miles JR is not playing in this game, I love Baylor in this matchup. TCU defeated Baylor when these teams met in early January and look for the Bears to get a little payback. So the Baylor Bears to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. For starters, Baylor is led on offense by a freshman who has been highly inconsistent. Keon George is shooting just 39.1% from the floor, and now he is going on the road to face a team that has one of the best defenses in the country. TCU ranks 14th nationally in defensive efficiency according to Kenpom, so if anyone can slow down this Baylor offense, it's them. Baylor's offense has also played significantly worse on the road this season. In their most recent home game, TCU held West Virginia below 44% shooting from the field and 27% shooting from deep. And in their home game before that, they only allowed 52 points to Oklahoma. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Duke vs. Virginia The Virginia Cavaliers will host the Duke Blue Devils in an Atlantic Coast Conference battle Saturday. Last season, these teams split their two face-to-face -face meetings straight up, but Virginia covered the spread in both games as the dog. Duke is 9-15 against the spread this season, with a 8-15-1 to to over-under record. Virginia is 9-12-1 against the spread this year, with a 12-9 over-under record. The Duke Blue Devils and the Virginia Cavaliers will face off in John Paul Jones Arena on Saturday for an Atlantic Coast Conference game. Duke is 17-7 overall this season but are coming off a blowout loss to Miami on Monday night. They were never in that game as they trailed by 12 at halftime and looked like they did not want to be there in the second half. The Blue Devils shot just 26.3% from beyond the arc and continued their road struggles. They have won just two road games this season which came to Boston College and Georgia Tech who rank outside the top 160 in Ken Palm's rankings. Duke has yet to beat a good opponent on the road this season. Virginia has played at a high level this season holding a 18-4 overall record and a 10-3 conference record. They are ranked number 8 in the latest AP Top 25 polls and have just one home loss which came to Houston back on December 17th. 
Virginia is the better team between these two clubs, and I expect them to wear down Duke as the game goes on to ultimately cover the six-point spread. Duke's offense has not been good this year, and they will struggle to score here on Virginia's elite defense. According to Ken Palm, Duke's offense is ranked number 262 in three-point percentage, number 232 in effective field goal percentage, and number 218 in turnover percentage. I can't see Duke scoring the basketball well enough to pick up a road win here. I believe that Virginia will take care of business at home, so the Virginia Cavaliers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. When you think of Virginia, you think of low scoring and defense. Although there's truth in that, the Cavaliers are also a very good offensive team and have been playing to more overs lately. The over has cashed in four of the last six Virginia games, and they have scored at least 67 points in six of their previous seven games. On the other side, the under is 7-2-1 to in Duke's last 10 games, but Duke has combined for at least 129 points with their opponents in nine of their previous 10. The total here is much lower for a Duke game because they are playing Virginia, but I see this total reaching the 130s. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Missouri vs. Tennessee. A pair of teams from the Southeastern Conference take the floor in the Volunteer State looking to earn a conference victory. The Missouri Tigers are on the road as they make the trip to face the number six Tennessee Volunteers Saturday evening. Missouri turned away South Carolina's attempts at an upset, prevailing 83-74 at home Tuesday night in their previous game, though they failed to cover the line as a 15-point favorite. Tennessee was on the road as they made the in-state trip to take on Vanderbilt Wednesday night. They were upset six 66 to 65, losing outright as a 10-point favorite. In the all-time series between the schools, the Volunteers own an 11-8 advantage, including an 80-61 road triumph in the most recent meeting on February 22, 2022. Missouri is 1-3-1 against the spread in their last five games following a win and 2-5-1 against the spread in their last eight games against a team with a winning record while the under is 5-1 in their last six road games. Tennessee is 9-4 against the spread in their last 13 home games and 16-7 against the spread in their last 23 games following a loss while the under is 4-1 in their last five games overall. Missouri is projected to make the tournament field, but they do not have a large margin for error. A good showing against the balls would help. Here, we have two starkly contrasting styles. The Tigers are a top 10 offense, and the Vols are the number one defense in the country. The Vols have needed every bit of that number one ranked defense lately. Over their past three games, they scored 54 points in a loss at Florida, 46 against Auburn and actually won, and 65 in a loss at Vanderbilt. The offensive woes of the Volunteers will come to an end against Missouri, who is a poor defensive team, one would think. The Tigers, for their part, are not great on the road. They have taken several sound defeats away from home, and this is their toughest road test to date. Still, 11 points is a lot for a Vol team that is struggling on offense and a Missouri team that is capable of exploding on offense. I don't expect the Vols to struggle as much as they have lately, but I also think the Tigers can score on the Vols in a way that most teams have not been able to do. This line opened at 13 and a half, and it has dropped almost three full points. It looks like expectations are high that the Tigers can keep this one close. I believe they will keep it in the single digits. So the Missouri Tigers to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Missouri has gone over the mark in 14 of their 24 games this season. The Tigers are 9th in offensive efficiency, 13th in effective field goal percentage. 38th in turnover percentage and 9th in two-point shooting on the year. Missouri is a team that loves to run as they are 43rd in adjusted tempo according to Ken Palm with 70 possessions a night. Tennessee has stayed under the number in 14 of their 24 games this season. The Volunteers are a stellar first in defensive efficiency, first in effective field goal percentage defense, 10th in turnover percentage forced and 12th in steal percentage this season. Tennessee is a slightly below average team in tempo as they are 229th with 6 66.3 possessions per contest. They have allowed more than 60 points at home just twice all season, so don't expect an offensive bonanza here. The Volunteers' defense clamps down here, and that keeps this game below the total. I just feel like this ends up being a bit of a low-scoring slugfest. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.